Hello, Gil Balfour here from Bali. Um, I'm just finishing up a holiday, two weeks in Bali, and it's been wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, I'm actually half Indonesian, and I've never been to Bali, if you can believe that, which is pretty crazy. Uh, but um, it's really quiet here at the moment. down here on the beach and that's my, my resort and I'll just go for a walk I think just go for a walk um, so what can I share with you today uh, well I've been um, spending a bit of time with my um, with my nephew actually and um, because back home in Sydney Australia I'm always um, wrestling with this, uh, the juggle, you know, being a dad, um, working on my online business, working on my acting career, and that juggle, I've been kind of like, i um, thinking, oh, it's too hard, it's too hard, it's too hard to do this, and then I find time to waste, and I get caught, stuck in a loop, a loop of, um, an unproductive loop, and uh, so, I, um, I'm now, having spent time with family here in, um, in Bali, I've uh, realized that, um, that you really can't do that because it's just, you, know, you are just wasting time. I mean, travel opens your perspective for all of us, right? It makes us re-evaluate our um, values and our, our beliefs and where we want to go in life. Um, and uh, so what I've realized is that uh, I need to, it's almost like a bitch slap to me, this trip, because um, I need to get over this, this idea that um, I don't have time to do things, that I don't have time to do the whole juggle, because I spent time with my nephew, and he's going, he's going 24-7 on stuff, I mean admittedly, he doesn't have a child or a family to raise, but um, the amount of things that he juggles, you know, his, uh, with his uh, music and his business and his network building and also like like community stuff that he does here in Bali um, is amazing. It's 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 um, he's flat out, and I just think um, I need to do more of that. I need to um, uh, stop this, get this idea out of my head that I don't have time to do all these things. I'm just showing you, I'm trying to show you some of the resort here. There is some guys playing volleyball up there, which might be worth a bit of a background look. But it's so peaceful here, right now. So peaceful, I almost want to um, stop talking because there are some people crashed out over there. And I'm going to be doing that and I'm going to snooze the afternoon away. But um, yeah, so what's my message? My message is, um, is try and do some traveling now that COVID is freeing up. Um, and um, you know, just re realign your life and um, try to make time for things um, and just realize you could be doing a lot more than what you are. Well, that's the message for me, that's the message to myself. I can be doing a lot more, and um, as not only a lot more, I can also stop complaining about it. happening place that people should come you know the parties here are amazing some of the clubs are just incredible um, and of course all the um, uh, all the investigating of uh, Indonesian life is here too um, which is important to me because I'm trying to find my roots so there is a plane going off and that'll be me in a few hours with my family going back to Sydney I get back to Sydney, um, I'm going to make some changes. So um, that's what I'm doing. Make some changes in your life. Stop complaining. Bit slap yourself if you need to, and um, just do shit. Do, work, do everything you, you want to do, and don't waste time getting caught up in either negativity or um, not 
really living uh, your best life too, as best you can. I think that's what travel gives us. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm not trying to be a wanker. I'm just trying to say that that's where I'm at and that's what I believe in. And this, this windmill thing, this sound is entrancing. I've had it like down here on Bali Beach. I'm going, what is that? Remember that sound. Anyway, come to Bali. See you.